Chào mừng quý vị và các bạn đã đến với The Journey, series về hành trình thành danh của các cầu thủ tại giải bóng rổ chuyên nghiệp Việt Nam VBA. Như quý vị cũng đã biết, VBA chuẩn bị bước sang mùa thứ 8 và dường như sức nóng ở sân chơi này chưa có dấu hiệu giảm nhiệt. Và lý do đến từ dấu ấn chuyên môn lẫn dấu ấn ngoài chuyên môn đó là bao gồm cả tài năng và ví dụ như là vẻ ngoài của các cầu thủ chẳng hạn. Rất may mắn là The Journey ngày hôm nay chúng ta có cả hai yếu tố đó, chính là khả năng chơi bóng và vẻ ngoài điển trai. Xin được giới thiệu đến với chương trình khách mời ngày hôm nay, Vincent Nguyễn. Thanks for having me. Bạn đã ở Việt Nam bao lâu rồi và bạn đã quen với uh, việc sống ở Việt Nam chưa? Uh, so I've been here since 2017 and this is the sixth year that I'm here. So for me coming back that long, I obviously love it here. Uh, got familiar with the culture a little bit more with my roots. Um, so yeah, I, I see myself living here for a long time. I think I'm always going to go back and forth to the to the Netherlands where my parents are. Uh, but Vietnam is such a big part of my life right now that I just see myself going back and forth. Yeah, uh, unless I start working full time in the Netherlands, for example. Uh, but Vietnam has a special place in my heart. Uh, the people are great. I love the food. Uh, I have some family here too. Uh, so yeah, I think I just feel love here. I việc tập luyện bóng rổ và thi đấu bóng rổ thì bạn còn làm công việc nào khác ở Việt Nam? So I've pretty much been playing basketball and coaching a little bit for the most part here. Uh, so during the COVID pandemic, uh, I stayed in Vietnam the whole time. And we didn't really know if there was going to be a VBA season. And we just parted ways with the City Wings coach. Uh, so they asked me to step in and coach the, the young guys. Uh, and I really wanted to do it just to leave a good imprint on the locals. like be a role model for them and I thought it would be fun for me too, like a good little challenge. Uh, and I think they went so well that they let me coach the national tournament, uh, which I was really proud of, especially the, the guys, they made a lot of progress. Uh, they really showed that they can be on the best level of uh, Vietnam. Uh, but you can also see basketball is getting a lot more popular. So uh, a lot of brands see uh, see it as an interesting field to start marketing a little bit more. Uh, so we, I think me and other players are starting to get a little bit more uh, KOL deals. Uh, and I recently started a podcast. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to talk about my experience in Vietnam, my basketball journey, uh, try to entertain and inspire the next generation of uh, basketball players or people in general. Bạn có theo dõi đồng đội của mình thi đấu tại SEA Games không? Và bạn có mong muốn mà khao khát mình cũng được thi đấu với ngoài đội tuyển quốc gia không? Uh, I think this Sea Games it was uh, it was a little rough for Vietnam. Um, obviously not everybody came back from the last year, um, but I do think Vietnam basketball is on the way up. Um, and for it to take a few next few steps, I think really the locals have got to be uh, more of an emphasis. So you see. Um, Teams like Cambodia or, or Indonesia, they, they bring in a more f uh, foreigners right now. I actually think it should be more focused on the locals, uh, the people that grew up here, uh, that really kids can see themselves in when they play. Uh, so really focus more on uh, on the locals. I think uh, Volkem, Baan and Kuvin especially, they have been taking a lot of steps. Uh, and I, I really think they're the future of Vietnam, Vietnam basketball. I don't know if I will ever get a Vietnam passport because it's hard for me uh, with the rules in the Netherlands. Uh, a couple of years ago, I tried to get a Vietnamese passport and they said, you can do it, but then I have to renounce my Dutch citizenship. Uh, and I wasn't ready to do that just because I would have to get a visa to go see my mom. I, yeah, I think that was... Uh, a deal breaker. There is one way for me, and that's to marry a Vietnamese girl. Uh, oh, that's his point. <laughs> then I can get two. Uh, but yeah, we, I'm not there yet. <laughs> uh, mùa giải tới thì bạn sẽ vẫn gặp lại những gương mặt cũ, những người đồng đội cũ, thậm chí là những Việt kiều cũ. Thì liệu bạn có cảm thấy là nó hơi bị nhàm chán và nó không có một chút gì đấy khiến cho bạn thấy phấn khích và thấy nó khó khăn hơn, nó thử thách hơn không? Well, we have different imports every year, and obviously they are uh, the two best players on every team. Uh, they carry the load usually, and then the other players are trying to fill in the roles after that. Um, so I think for the fans to see new imports every year, that's fun. But 
I actually think seeing the same VQ and the same local players, uh, yeah, it gives more of a connection to them. Because if, if it would be just different player after different player, I think uh, it, would be hard, it would be hard to connect to, to the teams and the players. Mm -hmm. Nhưng mà cái điều này có thể là khiến cho trình độ của bạn uh, nó sẽ không thể nào có một cái bước vươn xa được. Um, so I really think that uh, more players should get a chance to play regionally if that's the ABL or I, I see Mekong joining the, the, the Thailand League. I think there should be more of those opportunities for, for myself and for other players in Vietnam so that They put us a little bit out of our comfort zone, play against better competition. Tám mùa giải thì bạn đã trải qua bảy mùa giải VBA ở Việt Nam rồi. Thì uh, có mùa giải nào đối với bạn là ấn tượng nhất? Và bạn nghĩ là đâu là đội bóng phù hợp với lối chơi của bạn nhất? Hà Nội Buffalo hay Hồ Chí Minh City Wings? Uh, I think in my first two seasons in Hà Nội, uh, I think I I was pretty good, but I was still getting used to the culture. I also think. Then moving to Saigon, it was a little bit easier for me. I think Saigon is slightly more westernized. So then I could really focus on the court. It's up to me to keep going, taking those steps. I think right now the best fit is uh, the Ho Chi Minh City Wings. Uh, I'm focused on winning a championship here. Uh, I think they give me a little bit more freedom within, within the offense, uh, be a little bit big, bigger part of the team. Whereas in, in, in the Buffaloes, I had to, especially the second year, I had to facilitate a little bit more. Which I still do now, but I have more, uh, yeah, freedom on the court right now. VBA đã thay đổi bạn như thế nào? Uh, I think it really made me grow up. Uh, it was the first time being away from home for such an extended period of time, and I did live away from my parents for a little bit, but it was never. Uh, I never had to catch a plane to go see them, uh, and that was hard for the first couple of months. Uh, but I think. The whole experience here has made me more independent. Uh, uh, I can relate to a lot more people and I made friends for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. I think it's completely opposite of on the court. I think a lot of people will think I'm a little bit maybe cocky almost. Um, actually, that's what my girlfriend said the first time that she saw me play. She was like, oh, I thought you were good, but I thought you were really cocky. <laughs> but I think that comes from a little bit of confidence. Uh, Just knowing what I want on the court and me trying to get the best out of my teammates, and sometimes I get a little bit emotional. Um, but yeah, I think my teammates appreciate it. They know that I want the best for them, and then if I yell at them on the court, then after the game, I will go talk to them when I'm a little bit more calm. Vậy thì có một giải nào mà bạn cảm thấy là tự hào nhất về bản thân và khiến cho bạn nghĩ là mình đã có một dấu ấn trong sự nghiệp? In 2021, we had the bubble in Nha Chang, and I made that buzzer beating three. I think that's probably my, my personal best memory, just because we were down two. If we don't make the shot, we lose. If I make the shot, we win. And it went, it went in all net, didn't touch the rim. It was everybody rushing towards me. Uh, great pass from Jeremy Smith. And that was probably my own uh, best personal feeling. Uh, as far as the team goes, I think there's two memories. Uh, one is going to the finals with the Buffaloes. Uh, I think the whole city was behind us, and yeah, they were. I remember uh, Bakwa was so loud that on the court we could barely talk to each other. Um, so that was a cool experience. Uh, and then with the City Wings, the first year I came over. Um, They just finished in last place. I think they only won like one game the year before. So we had low expectations. And then we were in first place for most of the season. Um, and I remember a lot of people coming up to me like, they didn't understand why we were winning. Uh, they thought it was a fluke that we couldn't continue it. Um, but yeah, we had a good, a good season. Uh, I think we finished in the semifinals that year. Um, But yeah, just crushing expectations and proving people wrong, that was, that was a good experience too. So. Uh, bạn nghĩ là nếu không chơi uh, bóng rổ ở Việt Nam và không có cơ hội đến với VBA, thì hiện tại bạn đang như thế nào? Well, it's hard to say because it happened very, but I think if the VBA never happened, I would definitely have less of a connection with Vietnam. Uh, before the VBA, I actually never visited. Um, so that was a big reason for me to come out and just experience the country and the culture. 
Ở mùa giải tới thì bạn kỳ vọng điều gì? Và bạn có nghĩ là Hồ Chí Minh City Wings năm nay sẽ là một đối thủ đáng gờm không? Uh, I think the City Wings are going to be a really good team this year. The locals made a lot of steps. Uh, I came early to Vietnam to prepare for the for the five on five season. So I hope I'm going to have one of my best seasons yet. Uh, we brought two really good imports. Uh, one of them you guys are already familiar with. Can't say his name yet, but you guys will know out, find out very soon. We really want to get better at the first part of the season and, and compete for the championship at the end. Vincent thì đã ở Việt Nam 6 năm rồi và bây giờ chúng ta thử xem là khả năng nói tiếng Việt của bạn ấy đã đến trình độ nào rồi nhá. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, okay. For the first one, introduce yourself in Vietnamese for one minute. Let's start. Chào các bạn. Tôi tên là Vincent Nguyên, hoặc bạn tiên Việt là Nguyễn Quang Vinh. À, Vẫn ở Việt Nam 6 năm rồi. À, nhưng mà Vincent thấy uh, tiếng Việt là rất khó. À, ở nhà Vincent nói tiếng Hà Lan. À, và khi trẻ khi trẻ uh, Vincent đang học tiếng Anh ở trường uh, nhưng mà không không bao giờ nói tiếng Việt ở nhà uh, tới Việt Nam không biết nói gì uh, nhưng mà sau năm ở đây rồi uh, Vincent thấy là Hiếu cũng được nói uh, hơi khó nhưng mà tốt hơn sau năm trước anh sẽ cần thử Uh, Vincent thấy đồ ăn Việt Nam là ngon nhất thế giới. Uh... <cười> That's good. <cười> Talk about uh, the things you like the most in Saigon. Người Việt Nam là rất thân thiện. Uh, đồ ăn ở đây ngon nhất ở thế giới. Uh, nhưng mà Vincent không thích mùa mưa. Mùa mưa. Vì uh, khi bên sẽ nặng lái xe, xe, xe máy và trời mưa uh, bị ướt <cười> và bên sẽ thường lái xe đi đi tóc uh, nhưng mà khi tới nhà thi đấu và uh, quần áo là ướt rồi là anh không nói xong trời ơi bên sẽ thích uh... Mùa khô tốt hơn mùa mưa. <cười> ok. Pass. You pass. <cười> Barely. Six out of ten. <cười> vâng, thưa quý vị và các bạn. Như vậy, một giải VBA sẽ chính thức khởi tranh vào tháng 6. Và đừng quên đến sân để cổ vũ cho Vincent cũng như là Hồ Chí Minh City Wings. Cùng với đó là các đội bóng khác tại VBA nữa. Và bây giờ thì Vincent nói tiếng Việt giỏi lắm rồi, các bạn có thể uh, hoàn toàn giao tiếp với bạn ấy bằng tiếng Việt, không cần phải chém tiếng Anh nữa đâu. Các bạn cũng có thể theo dõi các trận đấu tại VBA qua hệ sinh thái thể thao của VTVCAP. Còn bây giờ, xin chào và hẹn gặp lại!